the weather sucks today. This is horrible, man. But it's new bike day. Yours. <laughs> So now we're in the main workshop in the Villia factory. This is where all of the bikes get QC'd, built, and then sent out to shops, customers, and well, looking at all those frames over there, Team Astana as well. So as some of you may have seen in yesterday's episode, we got this painted up. You taking it away? Yeah, for the morning. No. <laughs> Cannot wait to see this thing built up. 11.28? Yeah, yeah, 11.28. Good luck. It probably looks really small to you because you ride like a 1140, don't you? Yeah, no, my yeah. Cat, yeah, yeah. So when a new bike gets put together at the Villio factory, it starts off at the end here, works its way around the room at each station. I'm not sure what this first station is, but they're going to bolt something to it. This year, Villia have come out with their own wheel set. They've actually made a couple. I think these ones are 50 millimeter and they're the ones that go on my bike. Deeper the better, right? Like a well-oiled machine. Grazie. Before I show you the fully built bike, we're, uh, we're off to go and get some lunch. I think we're going to a pasta place though, not a pizza place. So I might have to break my rule and not eat pizza for every single meal here. No, don't put in there your video. I was actually considering riding my new bike today, but nah, it's grim. Oh, it's a pizzeria. It is a pizzeria. But you can't eat pizza today. What? Just on uh, Friday night, no. Sunday night. What? I had my hopes up. <laughs> a proper Italian experience. You want some yeah. canella? What is that? Chin, mm. chin, mm. Spicy stuff. Spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Two buoni caffè. Okay. Lui le a parte. Ora tre caffè muoi. So apparently in this part of Italy, if you order a coffee without specifying that you don't want alcohol in it, they will give you a coffee with alcohol in it. We're having a great day. <laughs> Matteo loves being on camera. <laughs> he loves it. I give you my uh, permission. Do I have to pixelate your face? Yeah, I have to pixel my face. Yes. I'll also... change my voice. Okay, I'll change your voice. <laughs> You're literally, that's so unfair. Is it alright? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the method. It's the quality control. Quality control, yeah, yeah. So, first ride on a new bike, indoors. Just uh, taking it for a spin around the factory, why not? Oh, you got weighing scales. Let's see how much this thing weighs. So bear in mind, this is with deep carbon wheels, uh, the slightly heavier version of the handlebars, which I've chosen, 7.2. So we're just getting some photos of the new bike. Matteo is acting as me in a lift. The emoji, emoji, perfect. What they said. So here's a full rundown of my new bike. 
The frame set is really his new Zero SLR, so it's still a very aero option, but designed to be super light compared to the Cento DHE, which is what I've got at the moment. It comes in disc brake only, which is what I've got installed. A full Dura Ace DI2 group set, 11 speed with 1128 on the back, semi compact on the front, 5236. Attached to the frame, I've got two Fidlock bottle cages. Quite nice when you take your bottles off because they don't stick out. As you can probably see in this light, the paint's got um, flecks of glitter in it. If you want to check out the full painting process that was in yesterday's video, it's quite interesting how they did it all. These are Villiers' really own brand new wheels that they released as well. Wide toroidal rim. I think these are 50 millimeter? Yes. For the handlebars, I've chosen the Alabada, which is exactly the same handlebar, the integrated one that's on the Cento DH. They have actually come out with a new handlebar for the Zero SLR, which is a little bit lighter, but I've opted for this one, so it feels exactly the same as my other bike, which is quite important to me. I could just pick it up and go, and they should feel exactly the same, because the geometry is within millimeters. Pro logo bar tape. Dura Ace rotors. They're black, so they must be better. Some nice detailing on the top tube here. Billy's own seat post, this comes with the frame set as well. A Cell Italia Boost Saddle. Now, this thing, as you may have seen in a clip earlier, weighs absolutely nothing. It's like it's gonna, it's like it's gonna blow away. It's got an absolutely massive cutout in it. A little bit different to the saddles that I'm running at the moment, but I did use one of these on the test day uh, a few months back, and I was really impressed, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a longer go. Here's the serial number of the bike that I was allowed to write my own terrible children's handwriting. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my new bike. Right, all packed up, leaving the factory now. Flying to Calpe tomorrow to uh, ride with a stanner. Hopefully my legs will be all right. Stop filming. Stop filming. Stop. Stop. No. Why are you driving on the wrong side? No, no, this is the correct one. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, catching up on the edit back at the hotel now. Just to explain a bit what's going on in the next couple of days, I am heading over to Calpe. Matera is coming with me and uh, we're going to be working on a couple of videos for the Villia YouTube channel. Kind of like a little behind the scenes of the team. I'm going to be doing some riding with them. Uh, they're for two days. So they've got a recovery day to start with, which is actually pretty good for me. And then four hours based on the terrain could be a bit of a baptism of fire. But anyway, I'm going to be making a video series over the course of the year where we'll be doing a bit of riding before races like recon stuff. And the training camp in Calpe will be the first one. Stay tuned to this channel as well because I'll be making a behind the scenes of the behind the scenes, which is on their channel. So lots of cool stuff coming up. It's now very late. I'm going to go to sleep. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.